Hey guys and welcome to a masterclass video. I know you guys like these because they're super educational and Dave's awesome because he leads these and makes them super educational. Um, so today's video is about a green wing and Nicole, the green wings owner, actually really wants to eventually free fly her green wing someday. So we get to work on flight training, Dave's favorite. And also she wants to work on the relationship between, is it Marvin? I think this green wing's name is Marvin, and her husband. So that is something that although we definitely address and we give them some tools, that's something Thing that we can't 100% make happen in a two hour class. And so we do send them with some homework, but I think you guys will find a lot of this really valuable. Is he saying step up? What's he I saying? You. Oh. <laughs> I don't say step up. I was way off. <laughs> <laughs> He was super clipped, I felt like. Bye. Nice. Yeah, so you, looks a lot I better. I did that on purpose, but you went to the perfect recall where you clicked because he left the perch within one to two seconds. Okay. So if you're trying to fix his response time, you do that from whatever distance he's most likely to fly to you from. It's funny. This is like a typical green problem. I know. So you'll want to treat him on the perch next time. So quickly okay. lands and put treat him on the perch. Okay. Yeah, that's what we normally do. Oh, I, do that I don't have any treats on here. I'd help you. Marvin. One thousand one, one thousand two. So you missed it. No treat, no click. So we're going to reset him. All right. Okay, so we'll just give him a second. Now this time we have to get him to do it, to okay. go whatever distance you know he's going to come. Okay. And if, even if you call slightly after he left, that's okay. fine. Just make sure that he, make sure you, this one's a good one. Okay. This is, this is like free flight specific. We're trying to fix his recall hesitation. So instead of waiting five seconds, we'll start to come within one to two Marvin. seconds. Yeah, see how much faster uh, that was? Because we allowed failure, and then we showed him what we want. Marvin. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, no click. Oh. It's all right, you, you click so you owe it to him. So go ahead and treat him on the perch. Just use the elbows. You doing it? <laughs> you see, they're the worst with this. <laughs> it is definitely a green wing thing, so okay. don't feel too isolated in that. Yeah. All of our green wing clients have the same issue with them. Paul? Marvin! 1,001, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, no click. 1,000 suck. Okay, so Come we'll on. Turn around for a sec, give him a minute. I almost wonder if you do better going further. I, I'm thinking further as well, yeah. I think like take four or five steps that way. Marvin! 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, so no click. Which 
treats you using? Um, nuts. Why don't you grab a break for now? I know that goes against what we told you earlier, but we're switching intentions. Oh, look who decided to join the party. <laughs> so go ahead, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. If he looks like he wants to fly to you at any point, let him and catch him and treat him. So one of the differences there is you also went way closer. Yeah. So I think what that's telling me, you could probably use the lower value treats at a closer distance. Okay. So perfect recall is just to get that speed fixed. Marvin. Nice. And actually with the grapes, I would switch to this variable reinforcement where he never knows if he's gonna get a grape, but in his mind, he thinks he might. Okay. At this point, I had to have Jamie stop the camera because when we get deep into flight training, I don't want people to misuse it. And so that is why we have individual coaching for flight training specifically. So we can walk people through all the different things that happen. It's not a cookie cutter and we shouldn't ever put it in a book because that would be irresponsible because there's too many variables. So, uh, we, so got we the did camera a lot here. more than you saw, <laughs> um, but now we're going to jump to the part in the video where we actually work on the relationship between Marvin and John. With that. So actually let's do a quick target from the age with him. Okay. And just, I want to see what you naturally do, and then I may be able to shape it to fix it. Okay. But your only direction is, is do a target and make sure that it is gentle and you're capturing the emotional state that you want to see more of. Okay. So babe, what is the number one question we get asked here at Bird Tricks? Ah, uh, if I had to say the number one question we get asked here at Bird Tricks, it is, what do I do after my bird bites me? I thought you were gonna make up something totally not bird related. I'm really proud of you for sticking on point. <laughs> I was like, he was going to say something super inappropriate. And then you didn't. No. Keep it up professional. I don't know why you punch me for Look that. Look at us. Look at us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> or the third time you bit, I'm going to put him on the island in the kitchen where there's nothing for him to chew on or whatever. Plan what those next three reactions are, the consequence, okay. to break whatever habit might be there. Because he may have learned just because of human nature and he bites you and she comes and rescues him right well cool he's just gonna bite you to come get his favorite person right so whatever that habit could be the best way to break it is to change that with intention before it happens but you got the paper right perfect couldn't have done it better so a couple things that you did there is you have to stick just far enough that he couldn't reach with his lower mandible so what they can do is they can extend the upper mandible Right? And if they're smushed against the cage bars, they can only go so far. So the upper mandible comes out, they can't manipulate that lower one when the upper is extended that far. So then the next thing that happens is they stick their tongue out to try to touch the stick. Okay. It is really difficult for a bird to be pissed off. I'll go, and, uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's what we call an incompatible behavior. And so you are naturally capturing that, that calm, will almost say emotionless, at least there's not a heightened state when they're just touching with their tongue, that's what we want more of. So if you do that and you get five excellent, perfect reps, then you are going to start to associate yourself, like we said earlier, with like, oh, hey, John's coming. I get to be fluffy, I'm calm, I touch the stick with my tongue, and I get my favorite treat. And I don't get it from anybody else. I don't know why, but he's the only one who gets me grapes. He's the only one who gets me. Right, right? And that's gonna to start to associate it where he's gonna look forward to your interactions. Okay. Cool. I feel good with that. Do you? Yeah, I feel like you guys understand what we're giving you yeah. to like go take to home and, and put to use because yeah. this is definitely a long term. Yeah. Okay, so with Marvin, um, we I'm going to work on the Velcro bird and we're going to kind of split that. So we're going to feed him together, um, probably just for dinner. but And then he's going to do some training hands off just to get him confident with him. He's only going to use the high value treat, which for Marvin are grapes. Um, and I'll just use you know, the other ones that he likes. Um, that was that right? Yes. Yeah, it just means spending more time with him, doing more training with him. Yeah. Awesome. And capturing calm. Capturing calm. And capturing calm. <laughs> so spontaneous of you guys. <laughs> Mars is like, what? <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright, so Thank you.